Hello, and welcome to Seconds to Midnight. I am Cardinal Kennedy. Now, in episode two, I was talking about the IPEC GOAT 2, and mentioned about the Rapture, etc, etc. Now, I wanted to go back a little bit uh, and expand upon that subject a bit more clearly. Um, I did have the uh, music a bit too loud so you couldn't hear what I said, um, but uh, I'm still getting used to this system. So, as I said, this was the Notre Dame representation of uh, with, when the spire went, etc. But it's not just that. There are many kinds of symbolisms in this as well. Because this church, okay, is also a representation of all the churches in the world. The church age. Now, the Lord did say in his address, that the one of the uh, videos, that the church age is over. And when you look at this bit here, you'll notice eventually that it will crumble. Okay, this church. Keep your eye on the church, and I'll show you. That's the spire. Fair enough, it went down. Okay, but the rest is a symbolization of the church age. The church is crumbling. Okay, it really, really crumbles. Another thing to take in mind. You've got purple skies, and we are seeing a lot of purple skies, specifically this year as well, okay? You've also got this building here, okay? Now, what is that building? Do you know what that building is? Hmm? I think at the end of the day, because of the other buildings that are surrounding it, it looks an awful lot like the Empire State Building okay and this will end up being destroyed okay this will be it's because this is part of Babylon okay and Babylon the Great is America specifically New York it is the hub of the monetary systems and everything else in certain governments and world trade buildings and Things like that, and where the uh, people of the world come to meet up, etc., etc., you know, for these uh, big me meetings, you know, and it's going to end up being hit, it's going to be affected, you know, massive tsunamis and stuff like that. That is why they've always given you a hint in these uh, disaster movies where New York gets hit. You've seen it, you know, in uh, Armageddon, you've seen it in the um, the day after, you know, the day after, or whatever, and, you know, it's gonna get hit, they know it, and they they love shoving it in your faces, okay, but like I said before, that womb is now closed, it's definitely a womb, entering, you know, the, uh, you know, for the virgin, and the Lord came out of it, so I'm just gonna bring that back out again, and like I said before, you're seeing the, the uh, pyramid on the top of his head, okay, with the rays, Sunlight, sun, light, okay? The rays, there's another ray, i.e. Rayal, okay? Eye of God, all seeing eye, which is divinity, it's God watching over you. The red eyes, i.e. with the flames within the eyes. Yeah, and like I said before, it's a case of, in that scripture in Revelations, it clearly says to you, and his eyes were a blazing fire. But it's not a bad fire, it's a divine fire. Many people who have passed over into the, uh, what we call near-death experiences, they talk about the flame of God. Okay? Now, in for Jewish, they always have, just above on the forehead, a little box, right, and inside the box, has the prayers, okay, has about three or four, you know, lots of prayers in them from the, from the uh, Torah. 
and it's always placed in this specific position on the forehead. Why? Easily, because it represents the shin, which is the eternal flame. It's a connection to God. Okay? So, like I said before, the thro the thorns that were on his forehead, the thorns that were on his forehead have now disappeared. This is the second coming. Okay? Now, I'll just play it along a bit more. <coughs> Excuse me. Church age is over. The church is destroyed. Because basically, it's a new beginning. Now, on this scene, you're seeing the pyramids. Okay? But you're also seeing the sign of Scorpio. Can you see it? It's dead center next to the sun. And it looks like a cloud formation, but you can see its stinger. Now that is basically, the Lord is heading towards Scorpio. So a lot of these distractions and stuff that you'll see, eventually if you're left behind, you'll see the pyramids destroyed. You'll see that happening in the beginning as well, you're facing towards Scorpio, which is the end of October into November. Okay, and I'll just play it a bit longer, and you can see the asteroids coming in, which is correct at that time period. So it hit the uh, pyramid and destroy it. So, hope that explains a little bit to you. Um, I wanted to definitely go back on this because of the fact that it's important. We are at that time period. You saw the um, Lord, you know, with the, the boats. You saw the resurrection thing. You saw death. Okay. And the Kachinas, which is the uh, Nemesis and Saturn. The Saturn will turn to a blue star. Okay. Lotus leaf is also symbolized as divinity. Okay. Like I said, he's coming out of the womb. He's got the flames. Excuse me about that. And of course the throat the thorns. It is a big giveaway. It is saying to you, Messiah. It is not the false Messiah. Okay? There are so many clues. But as usual, with Christians, they get things wrong. Even with the scriptures, they presume to know God. Okay? They presume. But the saints, being back, the elders, have our duty to correct you. So this is your correction. So, I will leave it there, and I hope you will join me again for episode 4, and I will clear up some other matters, and also inform you of what is going on in these end of days. Because we are, literally, seconds to midnight. And I will say, love God, love each other, Amen, bye for now.